The nutritionist said I should eat root vegetables. Said if I could get down 13 turnips a day, I would be grounded, rooted. Said my head would not keep flying away to where the darkness lives. The psychic told me my heart carries too much weight. Said for $20, she'd tell me what to do. I handed her the 20. She said, stop worrying, darling. You will find a good man soon. The first psychotherapist said I should spend three hours a day sitting in a dark closet with my eyes closed and my ears plugged. I tried it once but couldn't stop thinking about how gay it was to be sitting in the closet. The yogi told me to stretch everything but the truth, said to focus on the out-breath, said everyone finds happiness if they can care more about what they give than what they get. The pharmacist said Klonopin, Lamictal, Lithium, Xanax. The doctor said an antipsychotic might help me forget what the trauma said. The trauma said, don't write this poem. Nobody wants to hear you cry about the grief inside your bones. But my bones said, Tyler Clemente dove into the Hudson River convinced he was entirely alone. My bones said, write the poem. just because your heart feels so heavy. I have never met a heavy heart that wasn't a phone booth with a red cape inside. Some people will just never understand the kind of superpower it takes for some people to just walk outside. Some days I know my smile looks like the gutter of a falling house, but my hands are always holding tight to the ripcord of believing. A life can be rich like the soil, can make food of decay, can turn wound into highway. Pick me up in a truck with that bumper sticker that says, it is no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a sick society. I have never trusted anyone with the whole back bow of my spine. The way I trusted ones who come undone at the throat, screaming for their pulses to find, to fight to pound. Four nights before Tyler Clemente dumped from the George Washington Bridge, I was sitting in town in my own town, calculating exactly what I had to swallow to keep a bottle of pills out. What I know about living is the pain is never just ours. Every time I hurt, I know the wound is an echo. So I keep listening to the moment and break to come to the window. When I can see what I couldn't see before, to the gust of my most battered dream, I watch the dandelion lose its mind in the wind, and when it did, it scattered a thousand seeds. So the next time I tell you how easily I come out of my skin, don't try to put me back in. Just say, here, we are together at the window, aching for it all to get better. But knowing as bad as it hurts, our hearts may have only just skinned their knees. Knowing there is a chance the worst day might still be coming. Let me say right now, for the record, I'm still going to be here asking this world to dance, even if it keeps stepping on my holy feet. You. You stay here with me, okay? You stay here with me. Raising your bite against the bitter dark, your bright longing, your brilliant fists of loss. Friend, the only thing we have to gain is staying, is each other. My God, that's plenty. My God, that's enough. My God, it's so, so much for the light to give each of us, each of us at each other's backs, whispering over and over and over, live. Live, live. 